This video is sponsored by Rockler. Okay, so yet another shop project. Rockler sent me this awesome T-Track tabletop, and I think I've decided on turning it into another folding workbench. Um, but unlike the last folding workbench that I did that folds up into the wall, I think I'm gonna make this one fold down. So if you're interested in seeing how I do it, then stick around. I'm using some one by scraps that I had for this project, and I started by cutting to size the legs at the miter saw and table saw. Then I used pocket holes and glue to join them together. My thought process is the legs will fold in and the workbench will fold down on top of them. So to create that folding action, I attached two hinges, one near the top and one near the bottom. I started attaching them to the wall, however since my floor and walls are not exactly square to one another, they would not fully extend without me having to force them. So to fix this, I cut down the feet a few inches at the miter saw, making sure to use a stop block so that the feet were the same length. And then I took some scrap cutoffs and attached them to both of the feet to thicken up the material. This way I could turn it upside down and attach casters to the bottom. Then I started attaching it to the wall once again, and I used some scrap cutoffs to act as shims to square these up to the wall. Next I grabbed a piano hinge and used my reciprocating saw to cut it to size. I haven't purchased any files for my shop, I don't know why, so I just used sandpaper to smooth over the edges. Then I started attaching the hinge to the tabletop. Now the tabletop is heavy, so instead of using the screws that came with the hinge, I upgraded to a larger screw. Then I attached the board to the wall, making sure to put it in all the studs, and I'll use this to attach the other portion of the hinge to. So I set the workbench into place then crawled underneath and attached it with the screws. However, again, I didn't use the screws that came with the hinge. I upgraded them to something larger. Now what I needed to do was add some spacers so that the tabletop would actually sit level. I decided to do this by taking some thicker material and using my table saw to cut in the channel, leaving a lip on both sides. I set the spacers in place and made sure that they made the tabletop level. Then I went underneath and took a sharpie and just made three little marks so that I would be able to flip the tabletop up and attach them a little bit easier. However, I ran into a problem when I tried to fold it down. That inside lip I left on the spacers ended up running into the legs. So I decided to cut off the inside ones and I was worried that this meant the legs would be able to easily be kicked out. But I gave them a few kicks, light kicks, but they still didn't feel like they were gonna be going anywhere, so I'm not worried about it. But I was worried about this front portion. There's a, there's a little bit too much workbench unsupported. So at this point, I decided to completely change directions, and I cut some legs, then used some folding leg brackets from rockler.com to attach to the front. Now I pretty much disassembled everything I had done up to this point, taking off the back folding legs, the spacers, and now that the workbench doesn't have any support in the back, I even took the tabletop off so I could upgrade the board attached to the studs. So not only is this route a lot easier to build, but it's also a lot more secure feeling. When I'm not using this, I can fold in the legs and lower it down, reducing 30 inches to just four and a half. However, when I do want to use it, I can lift it up and then just lower the legs. Now, I hated to let all those other pieces go to waste, so I found a scrap board that was the correct depth, and I just set it all up on the other side of my shop. So this is another option for a folding workbench, however, the depth of the tabletop can only be around 20 inches, but that's fine for me. I personally plan on putting my shop fan over here. I should have definitely dusted that off before starting it. <laughs> okay, man, so now I have three different workbenches, folding workbenches in my shop. 
So if you're interested in any three, then of course I have those tutorials on my website. You can check out at wilkerdues.com. Now the reason I specifically wanted this one to fold down is because I want to move it underneath this window unit. However, first I have to figure out how to safely extend this power cord without creating some sort of fire hazard. So eventually I'll move it over there. Now if you're interested in purchasing a T-Trap tabletop, then I will leave you a link in the description of the video to where you can find these at rockler.com. However, I'm also going to link a video from Rock and Age Woodshop where he included a T-Trap system in his assembly table. You can very well use that video as a guide to make your own tabletop if you're interested. And I think that's it for this one. Shop's a little bit more organized, so I'm a happy camper. I hope that you are having a great week. And I will see you the next time I'm building something.